The speaker on my list is Mr. Mikanadze from Georgia. Further for his interest and efforts to cast a light over the recent political processes in Georgia. The constitutional amendments adopted in 2020 introducing practically proportional electoral system in Georgia resulting in the tenth convocation of the Georgian parliament elected with 120 proportional and 30 majoritarian mandates. The newly elected parliament for the first time is over the past 20 years consists of 14 political parties where 90 seats are allocated to the Georgian dream and the rest 60 to the opposition. The diversity of political actors is a result of the Georgian citizens' freely expressed will in the October parliamentary elections. It is very unfortunate that the opposition does not appreciate support received from their voters and continue to sabotage parliamentary work by refusing to take up their seats. The report duly highlights that the parliamentary elections in Georgia were assessed both by international and local observers as competitive with fundamental freedoms respected and that parties could campaign freely. 80,000 observers monitored the parliamentary elections across the country. Parallel vote tabulation, PVT, was conducted by a prominent NGO which allegedly found initial 2.4% deviation between the PVT and CEC results, further used as one of the main arguments by opposition to protest the Central Election Commission results. The Georgian Dream publicly requested the disclosure of data obtained from on 850 precincts where the PVT had been conducted. The request was initially refused by the NGO, but in mid-December they announced that based on internal audit, an error had been detected in the vote calculation formula. Following the correction of the data, the PVT results coincided with the official results of the Central Election Commission. The same organization reported that their PVT had found mismatches in the protocols at 8% of the polling stations. The Georgian Dream again requested several times to publicize the list of the stations where the alleged excess of ballots were detected. According to the CEC data, the so-called imbalance relating to excessive number of ballots against the number of voters was recorded in only 19 summary protocols out of 3,657, in clear contrast to the NGO claimed abundance of ballot papers in 8% of precincts. As of today, the Georgian Dream has not received any data from the observer organizations. Along with boycotting the parliament, radical opposition started to openly show their dissatisfaction towards the international observers, foreign politicians and dialogue facilitators, re uh, resulting series of attacks launched against Georgian international partners and observers, especially on the United States and European Union ambassadors. In order to leave no questions over the fairness and transparency of the process, the Georgian Dream came up with the initiative to establish a special parliamentary investigation commission on elections and called the opposition to join the Commission's work. No surprise, they have rejected the offer to once again demonstrate their marginalization and determination to continue street protests rather than take the democratic processes inside the Parliament. We look to the future and considering the importance of efforts for faster strengthening democratic processes in Georgia. Therefore, the Georgian dream is committed to advancing Georgia towards major democracy and we remain determined to work closely with our international partners, including PACE, to overcome the shortcomings observed during the last parliamentary elections. Thank you.